Hey there, Fit Fam. Hope you're having an amazing day today. Welcome to the Why I Became Vegan video. I'm so excited to share this little part of me with you guys. I am so, so, so excited and so grateful to have the chance to do it. So I wanna make this as condensed as I possibly can, as short and sweet with this as I possibly can. So I do have my handy dandy notebook that I will be referring to so I stay on topic and I can give you guys all the right information. So first off, we can start with what is veganism? So veganism can be described as not taking part in the use of any animal product or byproducts. That means you know not buying things that are fur, down, silk, things like that, that kind of material. And also with food, it's no meat, dairy, or fish, right? So that is, that is it, that's simple. <laughs> simple, simple answer. So that's really it, just not eating anim any animal products or not you know, buying any animal products as well. So that is veganism in a nutshell. And then moving on to why I became vegan, what my kind of moment was, <laughs> I guess. Everybody has their own moment, so it's always interesting to learn what people's moments are. They're all so different. For me, I had been struggling and having a moral dilemma with eating animal products for a little over a year. I talked to a lot of people, my husband, family, friends, about you know this moral dilemma that I was having, this feeling in my gut, and my soul, and my heart that was just really affecting me. And so I started to do a lot of research and dive into those things because you guys know I love my research. <laughs> and along my research, I came into the vegan documentary sector. Uh, and that was really fascinating and very, very eye-opening. I love documentaries. So like usually my documentaries are like crime style documentaries <laughs> or historical. Uh, so this was very out of my genre of <laughs> documentary watching, but it was really fascinating. And there's so many out there. I mean, I think so movies right here. <laughs> uh, there's so many out there and so that was really great and I watched so many and you know along with doing my research things like that and then I got to one specific documentary and that was Dominion which is a documentary directed by Chris Del Force and it was probably the most profound agonizing and enlightening experience of my life. It affected me in a way that I've never been affected before uh, by a documentary, by watching something um, physically, mentally. It just affected me on all levels and I was not expecting that <laughs> at all. Um, I, like I said, I'd watched many documentaries prior to this one and uh, I didn't look into what this was, one was about. I didn't look at anything, you know, reviews wise. So I really had no idea what I was getting, getting get into and then um, ended up being what it was and affecting me the way it did and I as painful as it was to watch and witness I am so grateful that I had that experience um, so so grateful so if anyone is interested in watching this documentary I will put it down in the bottom with a list of a lot of the documentaries I've really enjoyed and uh, warning it is very very graphic it's very graphic it is very real and true but the truth is not always pretty and so very graphic so just warning for that um, you know while it is very graphic I do believe uh, it is very necessary also so. that is what um, affected me in that way it's kind of like the nail in the coffin for me it was a really big validation point um, just validating everything that I had already been feeling everything that I had been like you know struggling with it just had really it really just sealed the deal for me <laughs> really and uh, I became a vegan right then and there. <laughs> so that was my you know, be first beginning of my vegan story. And through this journey of being vegan, it's been really amazing and fascinating and just so educational. So some of the things that I wanted to also touch on are the benefits, right? So like already created this great vegan Sunday for myself and then realizing that there are some cherries on top and chocolate chips or whatever that are like great little benefits to having a whole foods plant-based diet, which is awesome. So some of the benefits, I'm just going to touch on three for you guys and make them really quick. So benefit number one, obviously environmental effects. You know, we use more land to create more cattle farms and a lot more water goes into making the crops that then feed the animals, right? So right there, that's a lot of environmental impact and Chris made the change actually because more from the environmental side because we've you know talked about doing more environmentally effective things um, with each other and our friends you know for a long time now so realizing that we could control the one thing we can control every day is what we put into our bodies that realization was amazing because then you know making this one little simple switch and not eating animal products can have a, a really big effect on on the environment you know little by little and you know 
that's really great. So that was a really awesome you know, thing to learn about and made us feel really great about our decision. And then the second one is obviously the health benefits, which were insane to learn about because the one thing, you know, another thing that I thought of was, oh my gosh, am I going to be able to train the way I want to train? Am I going to be able to be strong enough? And am I going to get the right nutrition? You know, Chris and I worried about that too with the way we train and, and you know, how active we are and learning that you can not only, you know, survive on a plant-based diet, but you can thrive and be great. You know, there's so many athletes out there that uh, support this lifestyle support the you know the vegan movement and so that was really wonderful to learn so that's another great documentary that we watched is Game Changers a wonderful documentary so I'll put that in the bottom as well um, but that really shows from an athletic side how a plant-based diet can affect you on that level so that was really cool and another really great study that was done was the China study done by Dr. Campbell and it was so fascinating to learn about this one because Chris and I both have uh, family members that have had cancer. Um, my grandpa is in recovery from that. He also had a heart issue where he had to have open heart surgery. My uh, dad is also uh, diabetic. Uh, so there's a lot of you know strong family you know emotion in that for me um, that I just want my family to live long and happy, wonderful lives. And so doing a lot of research on those types of things that could help them was something that I really wanted to do. So finding out that a vegan diet, a you know, whole foods plant-based diet can affect people that have these chronic illnesses in such a positive way, that was really eye-opening too. So that's been very fascinating, learning about the ties between, um, that's what the China study does, is the cancer tie to diet um, specifically. And this study was done over like 20 years. I mean, this was a long study. It's supposed to be one of the most vast studies that we've had. Ever. and so that was really fascinating to learn so I will put that down in the bottom as well you know so you guys can look for yourself what the China study is all about you kind of, kind of learn what Dr. Campbell found his findings and it's just fascinating it really is it's really great I love learning about these these things it's so awesome so that was really awesome learning about the health benefits how it can really help chronic illnesses uh, maybe even reverse some side effects reverse the effects of illnesses that was very fascinating because obviously Chris and I just want to live you know the best life we possibly can and be as healthy as we can and you know help our you know families to feel that way too and friends so another reason why I wanted to make this video is to spread the awareness you know everybody makes their own choice in life with what, how you want to live and you know all we can do is educate ourselves that's it all we can do is educate ourselves and you know open ourselves up to new ways of things and see what works for us and see what doesn't and then do the thing that works right number three last one is just corporation kind of governmental involvement so I used to be someone that always said I'm not into politics and then as I've gotten older I've realized that's just not a thing that I should say because politics directly affect the way we live our lives here in Western civilization so that's been really fascinating learning about you know lobbyists corporations governmental involvement in our you know food industry it's it's all very interesting so that's something I would encourage you guys to kind of learn about uh, because it's very fascinating I think it's something we should know you know going into you know the vote in November and you know going into just voting for people in office and you know voting for their their platforms and learning more about what is actually in their platforms as far as you know the food industry because that's just something I never really thought about and I'm like wow that I mean, I buy food, <laughs> like we buy food, so that's something I should probably learn about. So the three are the environmental effects, the health benefits, and then also, you know, corporation governmental education as well. Definitely three big umbrella terms for a lot of different things that we can all learn and that I, as a new baby vegan, and I'm just, you know, learning all of it. <laughs> and so I'm really excited to just keep learning, you know, my whole life, it's never gonna stop. But those were really great. And then two questions that I get asked a lot, with veganism um, or that a lot of vegans get asked I'm sure are where do you get your protein and then B12 right so protein sources for you know vegans are so vast I mean there's lentils there's quinoa there's beans there's so many different ways to get protein which I did not know <laughs> like I am just learning this which is really cool so that's really great they're all versatile um, foods which is awesome so you can really make a lot of different things with them and then B12 is something that obviously we can't get from plants uh, the only reason we get them from animals oftentimes is because the animal is injected with a B12 supplement so that's how we get it in that form uh, and then there's organisms on animals that also we can get B12 from because it's an organism like that gives us the B12. So learning about that was really interesting too. So very great. You can always just get a supplement. Super easy. <laughs> like I was like, oh no, how am I gonna get that? Boom, 
Whole Foods. <laughs> Whole Foods has it, Sprouts has it, Amazon has it. And my spray, it's like a little spray and it's a raspberry flavor. Super good. So I spray it in the morning and then one and done and that's it. <laughs> that's how I get my B12 and my protein. That's really it. I wanted to make this, you know, nice and concise for you guys and just really share this part of myself with you guys because I'm just so excited about this life change and it has made me feel so, so great and like I just feel wonderful. My gut health has improved. Um, my weight, I actually dropped nine pounds, which is not my intention at all, um, but obviously that's not weight that I necessarily needed <laughs> at the time because I feel really, really great and I have wonderful energy and it just affected me in a way that I just didn't see coming you know I didn't I didn't think when I made the change because it was such an emotional tie for me all the, all the other things all the other benefits that I would experience so experiencing them has been really wonderful and really awesome so I will leave you guys with one little quote and this one just kind of hit home for me and so I wanted to let you guys know I kind of wrote it myself and it's I don't know it just kind of encompasses a lot of the ways that I hadn't really thought of before you know these 28 years I really didn't think of eating animal products in this specific way. So here it is, you guys. If we are willing to comfortably eat a hamburger, then we owe it to the environment, the animals, and ourselves to get uncomfortable as we educate ourselves on how that burger gets to our plate. So all that means is just, like I said, you gotta do everything in your life in your own time. You gotta make your own choices, make your own decisions. But to make these decisions, we just have to be educated, you know, we just have to educate ourselves, open ourselves up to learning new things, and I'm someone for 28 years that ate animal products and didn't think a thing about it, and then had this, you know, kind of revelation within myself, and and then, you know, through education and opening my, my eyes and my heart to that, I now feel amazing, <laughs> and I have this whole new outlook on life, and I'm just so grateful for it, and so that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I hope this video was super helpful for you. I hope you learned some new things, and hopefully you'll do your own research and just decide what is best for you and your own life, you guys. I wish you all the best. Thank you guys so much for listening to this video. I really appreciate your support, and I hope you guys keep crushing those goals and keep being the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. Have an amazing rest of your day, guys, and I will talk to you later.